Welcome back. Uh, three guys talking about Beaver Valley. We're here with Tim and Chris today. And uh, Chris, why are we here in the back of a building standing on the road? Yeah. So, not a terribly sexy topic, but... Kind of a crappy one. Kind of a crappy topic. We're talking today about our new septic treatment facility that we're going to have here on site at Beaver Valley. Currently, we truck all of our waste across the river once here and once again to the treatment facility over at the Amic on Talisman. Not we very environmentally safe. Not safe, not friendly, and it costs a lot of money. So what we're doing now is we're gonna drop a uh, concrete container, for lack of a better term here, which will then treat all of our waste right here on site and discharge water that is currently cleaner than the river back into the river. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a win-win for everybody. You're gonna drink a, a glass of that water at the AGM, I heard. I thought that was the director of strategic planning does that. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Um, and so, Tim, uh, when, when we're doing this, we also talked about another small enhancement uh, of backup power. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, so we typically average, you know, a day or two minimum per species, and with limited number of days, uh, where we're down with power and, and we can't facilitate anything in the building because we don't have water, we can't run the kitchen, all that kind of stuff. Can't so run the beer fridges. That's, there's no beer when we don't have power and that's a problem. So uh, part of this project with the uh, wastewater treatment plan is to also add backup power which will facilitate the entire chalet uh, as well as the drinking water system and the wastewater system. So all things going well, that'll be in for this winter. Uh, if we lose power to the community, the lift still won't run, uh, but the party will continue on inside the building. Fantastic, fantastic, that's great news. Thanks very much, guys. Yeah, yeah. thank you.